Hi everyone, thank you for joining me. So my friend texted me yesterday and she said, help, I need an easy, fast makeup look. I don't have a lot of money to spend. I don't wanna use a lot of foundation and a lot of steps, things like that. And so I thought, well, okay, um, is your skin dry? Do you, is it oily? You know, things like that. So I was asking all of those questions and I sent her a list of products that uh, I recommend for what she's wanting. And then I thought, well, I'll just do a video using the same products or the same type of products uh, that I have on hand to uh, demonstrate how easy it is to get a nice look without having to spend a lot of money or take a lot of time to do it. So that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna go ahead and jump right in. Uh, first off, I'm going to be using a BB cream or a CC cream is what I suggested to her. Uh, the only one I actually have on hand is this Neutrogena. Um, and this is the Radiant Tinted Moisturizer Healthy Skin, which is the same thing as a BB cream. It's just a tinted moisturizer. Um, and this has SPF 30 and some other antioxidants in it. And so I thought this was a really good one. Uh, I do have the shade Sheer Ivory 10. I really cannot tell you how long I've had this and I don't ever remember using it. So hopefully it's the right shade for me. Um, but even if it's not, it's so sheer tinted moisturizers that it's not going to make that big of a difference on my skin. It's probably just going to even everything out, which is what BB and CC creams normally do. So uh, I'm just gonna get about a pea size here and rub it between my fingers. And I'm just going to dot it around um, my face. The point of this obviously is for it to be light. I got just a little bit more and not heavy or cakey on the skin. And you can blend this in with your fingers or you can use I don't recommend using a damp sponge because that's going to soak up the product. So I use a dry sponge. Um, I don't particularly like getting my hands all dirty, especially if I'm in a rush and I'm not near a restroom or anything. So yeah, as you can see when I blend this out, it's going to be super light coverage. Uh, almost disappearing actually. So just get that blended in. It smells just like sunscreen, which if you're not new to my channel, you know I don't prefer. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and slap on quite a bit more because um, I personally want it to cover up a little bit more if it can um, than what it's doing now. So, being generous with it, since I now see that the color's not going to matter, and just get that blended in here. We are going to be going in with a concealer. Um, so, again, I think that this would be a really good pool foundation or tinted moisturizer to use because, um, you know, it's got the SPF in it and even when it comes off, you're not gonna see like, oh God, her makeup's coming off her face, you know? Nobody wants that. Golly, my allergies have been nuts this week. There we go. So it just evens out. It looks pretty uh, dewy to the skin. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with concealer now and I've got this Instant Age Rewind Maybelline. This is the one I did recommend to her. You know, it's kind of a classic and I feel like you can't really go wrong with it. You just want to make sure that, especially on looks like this, that you are, um, you know, getting something that is your skin tone because you don't have a lot of uh, foundation to match to it, so uh, you would just want to make sure that you are not going to have uh, different colors on your face. Uh, you guys know uh, if you, you know, I'm just going to go in with the same sponge. Um, you guys know that um, my perfect shade match concealer is from Pretty Vulgar, 
and uh, Fair 6, I think is what it is. So that's my go-to, but that's not really as affordable as the uh, Maybelline. So that's why I chose this one instead. Um, again, cult classic, and I think that paired with this, it's going to go over really well. One thing to make sure of when you're doing a look like this is that you cover up your eyelids because if you leave your eyelids uncovered, it is going to give away that you have, you know, concealer or foundation or something on your skin. See the difference there in my eyelids being covered or not? So just cover up those veins, make everything even. I did my eyebrows off camera before I came on. Obviously those take the longest for me, but even that I've gotten down to a pretty quick process. Um, as far as what I'm using, uh, today I used the e.l.f. pencil. Uh, it's two dollars, you can get it anywhere. Um, and I used their brow gel. Uh, it, they, their brow gel actually is pretty cool. It has the most fibers in it of any other brow gel that I've ever used. And it does fill in very nicely the places I need extra hairs um, on my skin. So there is the complexion. Just like that. It all matches. Everything is easy. It took me, what, two minutes to accomplish? And I'm happy with it. So, um, a powder, uh, if you are going to be using under eye mascara, I do recommend using a powder to set your face because that is going to, uh, the emollient formulas together, you will have smudges underneath there. So I do not recommend uh, going without a powder to set your under eyes. Uh, I am going to lightly set today with my NYX banana powder. Uh, you know it's my favorite and um, again it's very quick I keep it on my person all the time I fit pan on here <laughs> I love this stuff um, but you can never really apply too much it just goes on very nicely and um, brightens up those under eyes and sets everything in place so just some quick swiping here you don't even need a mirror to do this step well a lot of steps you don't need a mirror for I'm gonna go ahead and set my whole face because I don't want my blush to streak and that's that so easy peasy and for blush I'm gonna go in with this covergirl cheekers palette and this is the shade um, oh brick rose so just a very nice shade. Um, these cheeker palettes, you really, I mean, you cannot go wrong with these things. They are, um, this is the product I recommended to her as well. They have several different colors. These things have been around for a very long time and there's a good reason why, um, because they're just phenomenal. Um, you can build them up, you can go lightly with them. And what I recommended to her as well is to, um, use it as your eyeshadow so everything is going to match. Uh, I am just swiping it on the cheeks. So I'm not blending anything yet. I'm just getting the color on there. I'm not using a bronzer because I don't feel like that is a necessary step in an easy fast routine. Um, so yeah, go easy handed with that. I'm going to take my sponge and just dab everything in on those edges just to even everything out. See how nicely that goes? I don't even have to spend time really blending that in with the brush and spending a lot of time. Easy peasy, just like that. I'm going to use my finger in that same blush and I'm just going to go right over my eyelids with it just to make it look like I spent a lot more time than I did. This has just the gentlest sheen in it, these blushers do, uh, so I actually don't feel like I want to even like fuss with a highlight or anything like that. I'm 
that's it. That's my eye look, that's my cheeks. I feel like I need a little bit more over here, so I'll just take whatever's left on my finger. Yep, just like that. And now I'm gonna throw on mascara. Obviously this is uh, an optional step. I recommended the Great Lash because that's the kind of girl I am. Uh, you guys, I've been using this stuff longer than I can even care to remember. Probably at least 25 years. And it is such a great mascara. Uh, it does not get talked about enough. The thing about this mascara is it is a building mascara, so if you want to have a really, you know, voluminous, lengthening eye look with your lashes, just build it up. It's a great, great mascara and it builds on itself so nicely. So that's one coat. I'm just going to go ahead and do the other coat. Obviously for a quick out the door makeup look that's easy and fuss free, I'm not going to build this up six or seven times like I normally would. Um, again, it doesn't take me long to build it up that many times because I go from one eye to the other before it has a chance to dry. So I'll probably go two coats on each eye just to show you. I'll go back over to the other side now. So you want to be quick and precise, but you don't want to make a mess because then you're going to have to spend extra time cleaning that up. So just decide what's important to you. So that is two coats versus one coat. See how quickly it builds on itself? You don't need to, um, you know, think, oh God, six coats of this mascara. And I may be exaggerating with six coats. I spend a lot of time on my lashes to get that look that I, I like, but I stop when I get it. And really it probably is three coats. So, I'm probably going to just stop at two coats today, but this stuff never flakes, it never smudges, it's fantastic. So there is my lashes with two coats of this mascara. Uh, I'm not going to go with a bottom lash mascara today because why? I'm just, I'm not going anywhere um, except to work and I don't feel like I need that down there. This kind of opens up everything. So when it dries, I will hit it with an eyelash curler. So for lips, I am going to uh, use my e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. I really like this stuff. Uh, this one and the new um, Revlon, hold up. <clears throat> No, I always say Revlon, but it's not. It's Maybelline. Maybelline Lifter Gloss. So this, to me, is a dupe for the Fussy Fenty Gloss, which I love those Fenty Gloss Bombs. Um, but it is exactly the same. I have that one, too. So, look at the colors. They're identical. Even the wands are similar. So, there they are. Isn't that fantastic? Like, the Fenty is $19. Um, I believe the Fussy, or the um, <laughs> Revlon Lifter Gloss is uh, $6. So I'm gonna use that today. Again, it has a slight tingle to it, um, but it's nothing bad, it doesn't burn my lips. Uh, I think this was a good choice because it does match my blush and eye very nicely. It's so nice. Now, 
if I'm hiding behind a mask, I'm not going to need this. Um, but I actually do use it because um, it does keep my lips moisturized. So as soon as it starts setting down, it does keep moisture on my lips. Um, it's either that or my Aquaphor, which I also recommend it to her because I believe she does go to work and she does need to wear a mask. So you don't want to get this stuff on your mask if you're not going to wash them every, you know, every other day or something. And then you also don't want to get like your lip gloss on your mask and then it gets kind of on different places on your face. So um, since this has dried just a little bit, I am going to hit it with an eyelash curler. Optional step, this is not necessary, but my eyes, to make them look even, I do like to um, curl them. Couple of quick pumps. See how that one now matches a little bit better to my other eye. And I'll do this one just a little bit. Just a quick one. So now I've got matching lashes. So that's it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. I know it was quick, but uh, that was kind of the point. So easy, fuss-free, makeup out the door, and you don't have to spend a lot of money. So I'll do a little tally of how much these items cost, and I'll leave it in the description box. So please like the video before you leave, subscribe, tell your friends, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Oh, and Happy New Year. I, I guess. Yeah. Okay, bye.